Back in this familiar room. Yeah, so familiar. This way, darling. All right. Um, just just wait a bit. A cool presence stretches your attention. The statue of a hound. For a moment, you are startled as your has the hound's presence appears less stable. Next moment, it gets consumed by the distorted memory zone. It's just uh, a tracker. The tea utensils on the tea set start to tremble as if it has something to say. We have to get out of here. It's about to breach this place. Fool, stop spreading anxiety. We got men and weapons. We'll manage. With just us? Are you crazy? Well, Sarah's to shreds. It's nothing. This is nothing. We're desperados on the land, remember? Now sit down and drink this. We'll manage and we'll definitely overcome this. Calm deer. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, let's have a look. I can see something here. A worried bird. Okay, sure. Don't move. I'm brainstorming how to improve the design. The shape of the stove is too mundane. Should have been decorated a little more, Trev. Hang on. Maybe this current version is pretty good. I still feel like the first draft was better, sure. Never mind. I have I'll have to ask Lady Vermillion what she thinks, sure. So Boss Red was the last one, so now it's Lady Vermillion. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember. I remember this. That's where we went, right? Tea table again. The idol tea set is neatly arranged on the table. Transition and sights of the past still fit in one's mind. Space Sanctuary. Uh, not now, Black Swan. I'm still in the middle of something. I'm trying to to see if there's uh, anything of importance. thing here though. Anyways, um do I have everything? I guess I do. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Well it's not my first time here, I mean uh, I feel fine. <laughs> That's good then. Yeah. I know you're more sensitive to memoria, thus more easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany you. Yeah. I shall use my methods to relieve you. Don't worry, as your companions are safe. I had both of them each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. Okay, cool. They're already awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Time waits for no one. We must hurry to the lobby. Alright. March's room is this way. I should go meet up with her. Right. Let me just pick this up. Dreamscape room. Alright. I'm just changing my percentage. I think we're doing alright. But the color is so vibrant. I like that. Left safe zone. Okay. Um. Oh. A chest. First one of many. This is just a door that leads nowhere, so I'm not going to bother with that. They said that I left the safe zone, which means I'm going to come across some more memory zone meme, it seems. I uh, that uh, giant uh, soul lad monkey. Anyways. Your memories tell you this is March 7th's room. Unless fate intervenes, 
She will wait in here. March, are you there? You notch, but there's no response. Are you in there? We are about to set off. You notch again, but there's no response. March, it's me, Lemul. You notch harder, and there's still no response. I know what you're thinking, but alas. That girl isn't in there, and neither is this her room. But why? It should be, no? The moment you stepped into the memory zone, reality's building structures lost all meaning. I can sense that she is in a faraway place right now. A faraway place? In the meantime, if we want to find that lobby the navigator mentioned, we'll have to try a little harder. Okay. Okay then, okay, okay. Let's just, uh, try and find that lobby then. Unfortunately, I'm stuffed. These poor little things stumbling about. Strange. There appears to be someone else's presence here. Oh yeah? The last time I saw an uh, unconscious uh, memory uh, zone meme such as this one, uh, Firefly was there. So, uh, just a speculation. Dream bubble. When you touch this memory bubble cluster, an intense and splittable emotion drown drowns you. Fragments of images flash by. You see parting, hear crying, and taste salty liquid in the corner of your mouth. When you recover from this emotion, a single tear has reached the side of your ear. A sad tear. Something the size of a fingertip is not to contain the life's worth of its appearances. I understand. Alright, let's go then. Also, the last time I was in this uh, hotel, is it, if it is the same hotel, uh, there was all this, this thing about, you know, a child's dream. Mikhail and the girl that was uh, talking to him and yeah it was all very cryptic I didn't know too much about what was going on really but all I know is that um, there's something strange going on maybe it's the watchmakers the watchmaker or something I don't know I'm just guessing at this point Eldritch uh, Dreamfall More and more important persons have taken to the stage. The dreamscape is drowned by deep waters and the future is entangled in threads. Every step you take leads to the unknown and mysteries. Do you still remember the two women who were beside you at the time? If you have to make a choice, which one of them would you prefer to control your future? That memo keeper? That woman with a sword? I only believe it myself. Which one would I prefer to control my future? I mean, I mean, hey, fly, fly, no? Given the choice, you'd rather surrender your fate to. A oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this was fire. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, given the choice, I mean, uh, still Atron. Yeah, that's the, that's best. Uh, given the choice, you'd rather surrender your fate to Atron. Mysterious and reliable, testron and powerful. In her eyes, you see nothing. However, you are convinced that you will not get hurt if you stay by her side. As for this creature, something unto death, no one lives long enough to count the number of eyes. This one shall be bigger. There you go. Alright, let's go forward. Is this possible? Is that? Yeah, it's that run, right? Before I do that, 
way. What? Did did we finally find her? How long has it been? I no longer remember how many years have passed. Shaw, sure. look at me. I am a white-haired old man now. It's you. You've barely changed at all. This is the dreamscape, yeah, Wes. Oh, this is the dreamscape, Wes. People can do some amazing things inside a dream, such as maintaining their youth. You too. I never thought that I would see you in Penetroni, Mr. Vold here. Have, have you been well? Well? Have you been well? Is that all you have to say? Father has spent all the savings that he worked himself to the bone for 20 years to save up just to see you. How? How did you to do this to us? To our family? What? What do you think we are? Penelope's voice started to crash. The bitterness and resentment that had gathered in her heart for so long transformed to tears and burst out in an instant. Penny. Char. Char, let me tell you. In those first few years, every night I would see you in my dreams, facing away from me. Every time I woke from those dreams, my heart would burn from the pain. Hey, uh, then I learned to accept what had happened. I learned to force myself to be calm, because I still had Penny. She had already lost her mother, so she could not handle it were her father to become a shell of a man. But I, I was unable to eliminate the obsession deep in my heart. I told myself, no matter what happened, we would meet again one day. When that time came, I would hear your answer. Why, Charlotte? Why did you leave us without a single word? Do you love us? No. Did you ever love us? The old man's interrogation grew so heated that it was as if the, the very air inside Dreamscape began to boil. You feel a burning sensation inside your chest. Stay quiet and observe this family drama to the end. <laughs> Penny. Oh, uh, okay. Penny. Wes. I am sorry. There's no way I can excuse what I have done to our family. Do you remember when we first... We, we were first together, Wes? We were so poor, but so happy. Every day, I would immerse myself in my fantasies of becoming an artist. And you were mesmerized by my naivete. But as time went on, reality began to eat away at my dreams. It was until one moment I became clenched in fear as I realized this dream that I, I, I had held my entire life, the dream that I would die to have realized, may never come true. It was then that I finally understood what my most important, what was most important to me in my heart of hearts. I know this may be cruel to say, but I realized that this thing I lived for was neither love nor our marriage. I love you, Wes, more than anything, except art. You are my life, but art, art is my existence. <coughs> then what about Penny? Why? Why did you ask me? Because I love you, Wesley. Even if to me, that love would be the end. I did not want to be so cruel to you. I guess it was hypocritical of me, I thought. And I had to leave something behind that would stay by your side. That way, when the time came that I had no choice but to leave, at least you wouldn't be left all alone. <sighs> Mother, you... You are unbelievable. I'm sorry, Penny. I remember the day that you were born. As I looked at you, I quietly said to myself, Perhaps 
This is the happiness that I should stick with. Perhaps I have already been freed from that curse that haunts me. The curse that calls itself a dream. When the family extended an olive branch to me, I finally realized this curse would haunt me for my entire existence, and I could never escape it. I must spend my life pursuing my dream. If I chose to refuse it, at all, then all that waited me was darkness. I had no choice in the matter. I understand, Char. Congratulations. Congratulations on making your dream come true. I should have understood long ago. That fire that I saw burning in your eyes all those years ago. It did not burn for me. The warmth that I felt from you was merely the residual warmth of your burning ambition. I... <coughs> Father! Dad! What's happening? Lizzie's limbs began to spam her with flying lisp. Don't worry, Benny. I think he must have just woken up. Huh. Um, you are not normal. You don't have a heart. You were right about one thing. The beauty that you seek in life is nothing more than a curse. You never understood how to love. I have to go and look after Father. Goodbye, Mom. Sure. Goodbye, Penny. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, uh... Note, searching for, uh, for mother in the dreamscape. In the end, the father and daughter locate their long-lost wife and mother at the hotel in the dreamscape. However, she refuses to reunite with her family. Following her heart-rending conversation, the father and daughter leave the dream world in frustration, leaving you wondering if you will ever encounter them in reality. That's uh, that's uh, quite difficult for them, I suppose. Wow. Are there no staff members here at all? Yeah, yeah. Huh? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You know each other? Yes, she's the memo keeper I mentioned. All right. We'll have to cut the banter short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? I'm indebted to you both for your help. Do we have to fight them? All right. Black Swan will assist in battle for the next part of the journey. Alright. Whatever. <laughs> Again, the ill timing manifest. We have the upper hand. Oh! Did you come here of your own volition? Or was it fate? Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Of course. Yes. Easy. <sighs> Finally, some peace and quiet. What are the two of you doing here? Uh, well. I don't know. We could ask you the same thing. It's probably not as complicated as it sounds. It's all thanks to a masked fool. Maybe I unwittingly hurt her. And then in a flash of kaleidoscopic light, I ended up here. Okay. You aren't hiding anything, are you? Hiding? I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. How about in front of me? That's not what I meant. It's just a figure of speech. 
Right, okay. Your arrival is timely. This dreamscape is fraught with danger. Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? I can protect you from harm, but in the memory zone, I'll need assistance from the memo keeper as well. And if we run into the family, it wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain the situation. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think? The more the better, I suppose. Never hurts to have more people. Thank you. I'm truly grateful. Glad to be traveling with you again, Miss Black Swan. <laughs> hmm. I truly hope so. All right. Well, uh, it's time, I suppose. She defeated these two. Seems. I need that chest. Look everywhere for something that may be useful for us. Uh, collect. Lost. Alright. Dream Bubble Fountain. When you move near this fountain, you feel a wave of stupor. A giant dream bubble appears to have grown eyes and hands. Dream Chaser. Drink me. It points to its own bubbling body, warmly extending an invitation. Okay. Fine. Wait. I heard something. I heard an origami bird somewhere. Don't mind me for <laughs> trying to look around and uh, making sure that I did not miss anything that could be useful. <laughs> Let's just uh, have a look. Well, there you are. of Dreamville. Fancy a sip of tea? Sure. The spring water from this tea jug is sweet and delicious. It's as good as the soda from Soda Boy. I'm bringing the tea by Lady Vermilion. Oh, for Lady Vermilion to try. Goodbye, Cher. Uh, Alright. I guess. I mean, I suppose. Um, it's funny because. Uh, I have Acheron and Black Swan on my team, so... <laughs> I did not mean to... to have this combo for uh, for the story, I mean... I had this, <laughs> this, uh, this uh, team to begin with, so... So it turns out the style is popular in Dreamville, Chirp. People's preferences with style seems to be changing by the day. It's imperative to keep up the, with the pace of the times as a dream bird in a small town hotel, Chirp. What kind of design would never go out of fashion? I'll do ask Lady Vermilion right now, Chirp. It's locked. I can travel through it freely, but you all... I think <sighs> we'll so. just have to take the way I came. Follow me. Alright. Wait, there's something, there's something behind the door? Something behind that door. This way, 
is blocked as well. Yeah, okay. So all ways are blocked, it seems. So how to go back from whence we came. Or from where we came, rather. Puzzle, it seems. To torch! I'm so stupid, so dumb, and so ugly. I'll never play a good clotty. Alright. Uh. And there we go. Awaken. Take torch. I think I'm not that bad myself. Who knows? I might be able to do this job well. <laughs> Watch mages till stopping a lens. Nice an eyepiece. Gold carvings. The lens reflects the wanders from far away to help its owner peer through the illusory dreams. Alright. Uh, I think we are good on this front, right? So, I mean, I'm sure that I'll go back to this place after the stream is done so that I can uh, focus on. Uh, collecting the origami birds and uh, and all these uh, things. <clears throat> this room. Why is it upside down? I mean, uh, I mean, it's a uh, it's a dreamscape. So the know. memory zone is constantly shifting its form. Looks like we'll have to think of a way. To walk on the ceiling. Uh -huh. We're standing on the ceiling right now. Miss Acheron's words speak sense. Regardless, we have to reach that flat surface hanging overhead. And we're not scaling the pillar, of course. I'll teach everyone some traversal tricks used in the memory zone. Okay. That's easy. Bring forth gleam suitable spot and try walking up the wall oh, okay but uh I've already <laughs> done that before I know how to do it walls I mean yeah a memory zone of this level is mere child's play to a memo keeper come on let's head out through the front door Stream four gleam okay 
Yeah. Destiny's course is becoming again the ill timing manifest. We have the upper hand. We definitely have the upper hand. Input and Another journey begins. Systems are fleeting as the dawns do, destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. The two shall fall. Okay. Another blood debt repaid. So it's that. Great. Storms on the horizon. <laughs> this so bad. A gorilla. Such an elusive foretelling. Is, uh, is not a good omen. Is not a good omen. Beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> Enemy data secured. Net markers active. Time for good old counter attack. I weep for the departed. All right, let's do this. Kind of bombastic. To be Half honest. the work is already done. In the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. I have to heal. 
Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Again. What would you like to know this time? <laughs> Commencing support. Enough. And there you go. It's over. This is what exploring the cosmos is all about. how uh, the music changes when you switch from one side to the other. So let's retrieve that. And let's move on. Oh. There you go. Chirp, how do we get out of here, Chirp? The roads here are on the wall one moment, and over my head the next. So confusing, Chirp. Uh, don't you know how to fly? Oh yeah, I was so dizzy that I forgot about that. I have to fly back to the tree. Got to get Lady Vermillion to redesign this route, Chirp. Bye-bye. Thank you. You're a prodigy at remembrance. I'm a prodigy. Well, I guess I am, I suppose, yeah. I can see that. Hmm. But anyways. Let's turn this way. Oh. Oh, that's the chest. this and there we go the path is opened I guess that's great all right let's go This place like this. We've arrived. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination with it. Right. But okay. the memory zone up ahead appears to be severely twisted. Be careful, everyone. Hmm. Okay. Let's go this way first. <sighs> ah, another boss. Just why not? Let's go. Stream four. Lean both blades. Such an elusive foretelling. Don't do that. The seal of ill fate descends. Enemy shade yeah. is destroyed. This. Net markers activated. Time for good old counter attack. Another journey begins. This well. is as fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. Alright. Dust 
Strong. It's a stronger uh, fiery breath. I have a soul one. Ready for another? Enemy data secured. Net markers active. Time for good old counter attack. Did you come here of your own volition? Or what in the still waters of oblivion I guide the wandering souls? This. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. I weep for the departed. <laughs> Dust spring. It too shall fall. Destiny's course is become. <laughs> Almost there. It's dinosaurs, though. Enough. Systems as fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. Enemy targets detected. I'll contain them. Okay. And there we go. Get to put them back in tight spots you've done. Touch your boot, spine suddenly bursts out of my because you to pull your hand back in charge. Watch me just... Ooh. Ooh. This one's not too bad. Crit rate and crit damage? Hell yeah. Okay. We'll see books are the physical medium of memories, but in the hotel filled with dream bubbles, this wall of books will spew in comparison. Yeah, okay. Is it the same pain? Don't forget to put them back in the right spots when you're done. By you, chirp. That doesn't count, chirp. One more time, chirp. Hold on. I got to go back to the great tree. I'll beat you next time, chirp. Yeah, okay. If you want. Hmm. Alright, some billboards. Nothing too bad here. Trying to be cheerful about what I see here. Okay, well, this is the same thing again and again. Alrighty, let's go. It's 
so I should do it this way. Javan of Corrosion, Path of Dream Dive. Let's see. What's this? Ah, okay, watch Mage's Legacy. So, this is uh, increasing the right effects. Okay. As for the other one, Pioneer Dive of Dead Waters. Increased damage from deaths and enemies with debuffs by 12%. Debuffs. Uh, increases crit rate by 4%. The wearer deals 8%, 12% increased. Uh, crit damage to enemies with at least two third debuffs. After the wearer inflicts a debuff on enemy targets, the aforementioned effects increase by 100%, lasting for one turn. Alright, well, uh, this is not going to change too much, I suppose. I have everything stacked up, and I don't have to deal with this, uh, thing. I think I'm, I'll farm that later, but for now, let's continue with the story. I have a lot to do. Ah. We've arrived. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination with it. <laughs> 